A pair of Las Cruces law enforcement agencies joined forces to create something called a real-time crime center. CBS 4 at 10's Ariana Pata spoke with the leaders of both agencies about this new center and when it could become a reality. The Las Cruces Police Department is one step closer to getting its real-time crime center. Now, that crime center would be able to track crime within the city of Las Cruces as it's happening. Today, I sat down with the police chief, Jeremy Story, who tells me getting the funding was a group effort. So when we come together, it makes funding more likely. Jeremy Story is the chief of police in Las Cruces. He's been working towards a real-time crime center, something that would allow his department to be more proactive than reactive. As a call comes in, they can pull up information, give that intelligence to the officers to keep them safer and hopefully solve the crime or prevent it from happening in the first place. During this year's legislative session, Doniana County Under Sheriff Tessa Abeta lobbied for state funding for that crime center. The sheriff's office was not eligible at the time to receive that money, but she was able to secure $650,000 for the police department. When you're working together on a regional basis. That's, of course, going to be uh, more attractive to our elected officials. Story says whether it's police or sheriffs who gets the money, it's good for both departments. They'll have access to some of that, that technology or some of that um, intelligence or information. Something Sheriff Kim Stewart says is important while the sheriff's office looks to build their own crime center. To have a huge impact on a crime fighting, if you want to call it that, it's going to have to be collaborative. Because the end goal is to make the real-time crime center a regional spot. Well, that's what we would like to see, three to five years, a separate building um, where both of us are housed and we work together in that center. Meantime, Chief Story says he still needs about $1 million to make the crime center at his department but it shouldn't take long for that to happen. Council's already asked for um, basically a budget adjustment to make that happen. We're ready to build. We have quotes already. So as soon as we get the funding, we're going to start. Chief Story tells me that his real-time crime center could be up and running by January of 2025. Meantime, Sheriff Stewart just needs to secure funding from Doniana's Board of County Commissioners, and she says hers could be opening up around that same time frame. Reporting in Las Cruces, Ariana Parra, CBS 4 at 10.